There was once a field, a lonely field. However, Farmer Macon decided to give the field some company. Farmer Macon was pleased with the field's new patched friend. Although left alone, the field had another visitor. With button eyes and a straw hat, stitched on so it would not blow away. And this is how Button met Patches. Now Button had friends, and like him, they had hats stitched on their heads. They did not care for the hatless stranger, for they were in a hurry to get to their destination. Off they went and left Patches alone with the field. Patches wanted to return the button to its owner, for that was the right thing to do. Patches followed the music to where all of the straw people of the land came to gather with each other. Everyone stopped. Patches did not look like them. Bullhead did not like the hatless stranger. no welcome for someone different in this barn. Farmer Macon saw Patches off his perch, but without question fixed him back up. The field had its visitors return, but they did not want any trouble. Later that evening, Patches with the button was not so sure of his return until Patches was now sure he would be welcomed to return the button. Bullhead was not happy, so he and his company decided to make their point. Farmer Macon saw what he needed to mend. He did not question why. For he knew sometimes things happen without any reason. Button was upset not to find Patches that day. However, he stumbled on something that would change everything.
Patches was determined not to let anything stop him from returning the button. Not even Bullhead. Now Button was just like Patches. And the button was returned. Bullhead did not agree. But there were those who did not agree with Bullhead or his company. Everyone realized that Patches was not so different after all. Farmer Macon saw there were now two. And he knew what needed to be done. So our story ends with Patches, Button, and the field. A happy field. Thank you.